the coldest nigga on the planet. Who dropped the top? I call her Janet. Them boys fell off, it's like they panicked. I've watched other people's videos on this topic and they're pretty much all the same. So I'm going to give you um, some extra tips and tricks I found to work that are not found anywhere else. When you're trying to put on muscle, it is essential to be in a caloric surplus. That's eating more energy than you use. I have a few tips and tricks to help you consume enough calories. Firstly, brush your teeth. The lingering flavour of food can trick your body into prolonging the urge to eat. If you get the taste of food out of your mouth as soon as you stop eating, then you'll become hungrier quicker. Obviously, you're not going to brush your teeth after every meal. However, if you brush your teeth after breakfast, let's say, you'll be more hungrier for lunch and you may be able to eat more for lunch as well. That's how you can um, pack on more calories in your day. But don't take my word on it. Try it yourself. See if it works. And let me know in the comments um, what happened, how it went. Eat when you're hungry. Um, I find myself, if I don't eat breakfast, I'll be hungry. But then after an hour or two, I won't be hungry. Like my body will just not be hungry. So when it comes to lunchtime, it's a lot harder because um, you're not hungry for some reason. And that makes eating lunch harder and eating a bigger lunch harder. So whenever you are hungry, eat because that hunger won't last forever. My third tip is um, your body adapts. So if you consistently eat 3,500 calories a day, um, consistently, obviously your body will adapt to that. It'll be able to handle that amount of food and you won't feel as much of a struggle to, uh, to eat that much food. Same thing, if you're only eating one meal a day, I one meal a day for a long time. And um, if you're eating a small amount of food, then it's hard for you to eat a lot amount of food. So your body will adapt. If you need to eat more food, start eating it consistently and you'll find it will get easier and easier. Probably the most important tip that I haven't seen anywhere is do what will make you succeed. So when I first started, I know I didn't want a PT and I didn't want to follow up a program and I didn't want to track my calories. Lots of people will tell you, you've got to do these things, that's how you improve, blah, 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 blah. But if you're not going to do it in the long run, you're going to burn out, you're going to find that Okay, I can do this for a couple of weeks and then I just get tired and I get sick of it. Okay, I don't want to go to the gym anymore because I've got to do this. Then it's worthless. So do what you think will um, be long lasting, help you succeed in the future. When you're first starting and you're doing some exercises, you won't be able to get the correct contraction. Even though if you think you're doing your technique correctly, you watch videos, you see how it's done and you're trying to copy it correctly and you do have good technique, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get the right contraction. I remember uh, with deadlifts, I don't know how to do the technique and it always hurt my back, stuff like that. So I never did them. Same with squats. I didn't really get into squats for the first year um, as training. And also um, cable pulls, cable uh, rows, yeah. Never really got into them either because I couldn't get a good contraction. But that just takes practice, right? Let's take a cable row, for example. You need a strong enough bicep and, and grip so that your back is dominant. Okay, so you just gotta get used to it. You just gotta do those exercises. Don't be discouraged because you're not feeling a good contraction. That's what I found. Because I wasn't feeling my back engaged when I was doing a pull, um, I wouldn't do them. Or well, same thing with squats and deadlifts. I wouldn't do them because I didn't feel um, the right contraction. But I was too new anyway, I didn't have muscle there. I just had to build some foundation. Okay, so don't be discouraged if things aren't going right at the start. Okay, you need to build that foundation first. A few more tips would be to do compound exercises. They're gonna help you progress the most. They're easiest to progressively overload. They're also using the most muscles. So it's pretty important to do compound movements and also do them at the start of your workout. Um, obviously warm up, get everything ready. And then that's when you have the most energy um, to do your compound movements, the heaviest movements that you should be doing. So make sure you're doing compound movements. I'd also encourage to increase intensity as you go through the workout. So when you start your workout, you get a warm up done and then you move into your compound movements. That's when you can have the most rest time um, during those sets. That's when you should be using the most energy. That will be the most heavy, the hardest sets, um, the big compounds, so you can have the most rest. But when you move on to like cable um, machine and um, any other machine, but especially cables, 
um, try and increase the intensity in it. Don't take too long resting. Instead, do supersets. I always superset on the cables to real um, bump up the intensity 